Hey there guys, Fave here, and today we're going to talk about a bunch of the defunct, obscure, extinct Roblox mobile apps that have existed over the years. Now you would be shocked at how many different apps Roblox has released over the years, because most people just think there's the Roblox app and that's that. But as a matter of fact, throughout history, as Roblox was figuring out its place in the mobile landscape, it tried a lot of different methods and tactics to try to get people to download Roblox apps. And that's what we're going to talk about today. But before we talk about that, we have to get into today's challenge. And today's challenge is, if Faveth 1A played Roblox in 2010, then smash that like button. Also, I noticed most of you aren't subscribed, so what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe, and hit that bell, and maybe you'll have one of these apps. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it, okay? So, the first Roblox mobile app I'm going to talk about today is obviously Roblox, the app that most of you probably have installed on some sort of device. And it's the app that everybody knows and loves to play Roblox on mobile devices. It was released on May 6, 2011 as a beta. And here's some video of the beta version of the app. Here they are developing the freaking app at Roblox headquarters. And then they have like deadlines, here they are working on it. This is a really interesting video. Look at all the different features and stuff. All the different employees contributing with notes and stuff. This is actually a really cool look into the making of the app that we know and love today. This is the original Roblox app. It was for iPad because back in 2011 and 2012, most mobile phones were too weak to play entire games like Roblox. But iPads were more powerful than cell phones at the time. Gratefully, you can play Roblox on just about any device nowadays, but back then it was a way different story. You can see them playing Paintball by Daxter on here, Catalog Heaven, and they're just showing off all the different features like touch screen and, you know, trying to make a mobile game work. They had to take notes. There was not a lot of precedent set at the time. And more people play Roblox on mobile today than people play it on desktop, which is kind of crazy because it all started as some strange idea to try to get more players. And boom, Roblox on the go. Anyways, that's pretty much the whole video. And, um, you know, Roblox for the Nintendo Switch or the PlayStation will likely never happen, as I've done videos about before. So when the app was released, you could see that Roblox Mobile is out of beta. Download and play today from December 2012. And you could get the white earbuds in the app, which are kind of a legendary item these days. Here's a screenshot from back in the day. As you can see, that's like basically what the freaking thing looked like. And it was pretty nice. It was only available on iPad 2 and up, iPhone 4 and up, and iPod Touch 5th generation. Now these devices are so old now that I wonder how much an iPod Touch 5th generation would cost these days. $30. So for $30, you can play Roblox on the go. That's nice. But here's some of the exclusive iOS items from back then. And back then you needed Builders Club, which is premium now to play every game. I'm so glad you can play basically any game you want now. But hey, anyways. And when officially launching the Roblox iPad app, the first Roblox mobile app ever, Roblox actually gave away a bunch of real life iPads if you bought an in-game iPad, if you got really lucky and were on at the right time, or just had a really good bot, honestly. So there's, I did a whole video about that way back in 2019, and it's still accurate today because history never changes. So yeah, check that out in the top right corner if you want. The Roblox app has proven to be very popular, okay? There is thousands of reviews being posted all the time. And you can see its ranking in the App Store has always been very high, staying in the top 20 of all apps in the entire App Store, which includes like Facebook and Snapchat and stuff. Pretty crazy. And if you look at their ranking on the game charts, they've been number one for a while now. So that's pretty sick. Roblox is really, really popular. The top things bought on the app are Robux, obviously, and then premium doesn't even start off until the bottom. People just be buying Robux nonstop. And they think Roblox has made $54 million in July 2021 and got 4 million downloads that same month. That's pretty sick. But that is the main Roblox app. But when stuff gets a little more interesting, is looking at the other Roblox apps that aren't quite as remembered as the main app. Okay, quick shout out to Blocky Marco for compiling all this information together for me. Okay, but like I said, we have to move on to the obscure apps. So, first we got Roblox Developer. 
This app was used to test mobile for games on Roblox. It was released on September 24th, 2014 and last updated on June 14th, 2016, giving it a lifespan of just under two years. This app, Roblox Developer, was intended for developers. This is the iPad version of the app here. As you can see, thank you to Blocky Marco for sourcing this footage. Um, here was a dev code put in here and it works. So you have to pair the app with your Roblox client and you could basically use Roblox Studio and test games from your iPad. Okay. You could adjust the different stat settings, enter different dev codes. According to Roblox staff Saranok, it might come back to the App Store, but the reason it was removed is because it wasn't working and it was confusing users who were searching for Roblox looking to download the main app. However, considering that this was said all the way back in 2017, I'm going to go ahead and highly doubt they intend on bringing back this specific app. However, Roblox Studio for mobile is still something that desperately needs to be made and could greatly expand the scope of Roblox's experiences. But hey, what do I know? It still needed Roblox Studio to work, and you would need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And connected to Roblox Studio using a four-digit code. The first thing you would see when you get onto the app is the logo. You will also see that there is a button that says Connect to Studio. What this button does is that it takes you to the page where you enter a four-digit code. The app would give you instructions on how to find the code and how to be a Roblox developer and mess with the different stats and stuff. There's a sign in option in the top right corner, but it actually crashes the app when you try to use it now. So, oh well. Here's the iPhone version of the app. You can see it's a very old app that has been extinct since 2016. But as you can see, it's the same as the iPad app, but just basically like there's reviews and stuff and it's just the phone version. So not much different. Test the game on your iPhone. Here's Roblox announcing this back in November 2014, test your games on mobile without a mobile device. So that's pretty nice. The next app is called Survive the Disasters, and I've actually done a full video about this app from 2014 before, which you can check out in the top right corner. Basically, Survive the Disasters by Stickmaster Luke, the famous classic game, had its own app on the App Store, which was trying to bring new people to Roblox by using another name. Um, but yeah, I already did a full in-depth video about that, so check that out in the top right corner. Roblox Mobile HD. Now this is a very forgotten app, okay? This is Roblox Mobile HD. Now this app was released on August 19th, 2014, and went extinct on September 9th, 2014, only lasting a few weeks. The description says, Roblox Mobile HD lets you explore thousands of games created by our community of builders and developers. Play everything from adventure games and RPGs to battle arenas and first person shooters on your iPad. Now, I, I don't, the difference between Roblox Mobile and Roblox Mobile HD is kind of unclear. Here's a screenshot from the app. Not quite sure what it's all about. But what's theorized is that it might have had better graphics because you can never adjust your graphics quality at the time on the app. Or it was a better version of the Roblox Mobile app, or both, because you could use the forums on Roblox Mobile HD where you couldn't on Roblox Mobile. So there's another app called Hangout in a Disco in Chat which was used to play the Hangout in a Disco and Chat game by a user named Passion Project. Now, if you've never heard of this game, that's because this game was popular way back in the day. If you take a look here, this is a game with 168,000 visits, which was actually a lot back then. The thumbnail is very much of its time, but I do like the way it was drawn. Now, shout out to Tyler McBride. And you cannot play this game anymore, and the like-dislike ratio isn't looking too spicy there. There's a review of this game that still exists on YouTube. Here's some gameplay here, you can see all the glorious pixels, but this was an app on the iPad. Now there's not much evidence of this app existing besides a listing of all the Roblox apps that have existed. You have Hangout in a Disco Chat from early 2014. Do you feel the funk? Do you bogart the boogie? This tough disco transcends expectations, genre, and all attempts at classification. Josh and Jive Turkeys will be bounced. And it was only supported on iPads, so this before iPhones were able to play Roblox, I guess. There's not much data made about this app, but here's what we do know. There's a 2012 to 2014 mobile sign-in screen and a guest option along with a sign-up screen. Once you either sign in or become a guest, you immediately go to the game and it would have an early 2014 UI. The game that it takes you to is similar to the Iron Cafe. 
someone mentioned that the game might have been made by games, which is the admins at Roblox that create games for the community back then. And this might be some sort of myth, it might not be 100% true. Now the funny part about this profile games is a few things. First of all, I could have sniped this name myself, as it joined Roblox about 6 days after I did. Now games was the host of many egg hunts and created many games, and Roblox had a division called the Games Team, where they would make games too. Now ironically, this profile should be called Experiences Now, and also this profile was stolen from whoever sniped the name back then, that was a big controversy back then. I'll probably do a full video about this account and all the different games on it, but that's just a little overview of what the games team really is. The app was released on January 3rd, 2014 and was last updated on January 24th, 2014. Give the example only a lifespan of about three weeks, so I don't really think this is very well remembered at all. So next up I'm going to talk about an experiment by the Roblox admins, okay? So there was a game all the way back in 2013, created in 2013, called Space Knights. Now this game hasn't been updated since April 2014, but it has 5 million visits. And this game was actually made by the games team, and which means it was made by Roblox admins. And their goal was to try to make a game that, without any help with the, their admin powers, they just used regular Roblox Studio, regular tools, and try to make a game get to the front page by just their abilities. And it did succeed at the time, so that's good for them. It was a pretty advanced game for the time. Now. You can see this blog post here from November 2013 with Sorkis talking about the single biggest gaming experiment we've ever attempted on Roblox. So yeah, they were trying to know what it was like to be a Roblox user. So then an app was made, okay? So Space Knights was also released as an app in 2014, and it's basically just like the other apps. It was only available for iPad, it was made for this Roblox game, and there's not much else I could say about this that I haven't said about the other apps, okay? But yeah, Roblox was trying to appeal to different people with different apps for different games. They were just trying to learn their strategy back then. Now, in 2014, according to RBLX Secrets on Twitter, Space Knights was also released on Steam. And not much known is about this version. It might be something that launches a Roblox launcher, or we don't really know for sure. Going to the link today, you can see that it no longer exists, and only this screenshot is the record of it existing. But not much is known about this version, just the fact that it exists through this screenshot from 2014. Now the last app I'm going to talk about today was something that was never even released. It was only seen on Sorkis's iPad during a live stream. It was called Knights and Kingdoms. Here you can see Bloxcast April from April 14th, 2014. Can we take an existing game on Roblox, package this as an app? To the iOS App Store. Um, the Can we take a traditional Roblox game and package it as an app on the iOS App Store? That one sentence right there says a lot about the motivations behind all these different Roblox mobile apps that have existed over the years. They were just experimenting and finding out what would work and what didn't work. So here's a screenshot from this app seen on the iPad. And this was a Roblox game turned into an iPad app. Here's what it looked like on the inside. Looks like, you know, a game. <laughs> There's dragons and stuff. It's like a Clash of Clans type game, but still powered by the Roblox engine. So it was like their version of Clash of Clans. This was the last time the app was shown and nothing was heard about it ever again after this. So I guess they didn't really like it. Anyways, that was a log video. I know. But I had to cover all the apps. Once again, thank you to Blocky Marco for providing all this information. And thanks for watching the video. Make sure you smash that like button. Follow me on Instagram at Fave here. Join my groups on Roblox, the Roblox Cave Fan Club at Fave's Cave. Check out the channel membership, the join button, next subscribe button for early access to videos, exclusive emojis, priority reply to comments, and more. And join my Discord server, discord.gg slash Fave. And it's your boy Fave, and I am 